We turn our attention now to Bachmann's Genty. This really is a very, very nice model at source, much improved on the old trying Hornby one and you know a product of its time. There has been some criticism though about its performance. Well, I, I've examined three and they all work perfectly, the ones I've had, so I don't know anything about poor performance other than reported to me secondhand as it were. It's basically very sound in body, very accurate. There has been some criticisms of the shape of the chimney. I must be sort of losing my perception, but it doesn't look too wrong to me. If we examine prototype pictures, these two here certainly, and this one, this third one, certainly seem tall and thin. I must be missing something. Clearly brass masters don't think much of it because they give you two replacements which are called Stania and Fowler but unfortunately they don't tell you which one is which. Um, so if you wish to change the chimney and I'm happy with the shape of that then this will need taking off. Well it's plastic so what I would recommend is you saw this off as brass masters recommend with a piercing saw. Obviously not to the base of the flange, to the base of the chimney itself and then file back and then you can pop this replacement on. It's, it's certainly shorter and it's certainly fatter. You also get umpteen little castings for injectors and ejectors and I'll be sticking those on. Brassmasters very very kindly and cleverly give you a full set of instructions with pictures and again you can see you're expected to fit these little um, footsteps. Another thing that you're given are the frame extensions and the guard irons which Backman don't supply and these really are dead easy to fit. You just sort of fit them on. Small amount of glue, slightly gooey glue, super glue. Make sure you've got the right one and that just drops in. Press it down, make sure it's in the right place. It will grab quite quickly, so beware. And already we've made the guard irons and the frame extensions, which make a big difference to its appearance. You get those for the front as well. These have been riveted through, which I did yesterday. And you, all you have to do is just set, put a crank, as it were, in the guard iron. And you adjust it to gauge. Now this is double O. So it's slightly narrower than scale. And then that will fit like so. I'll glue that on later. If you do wish to change the gauge of your locomotive, your Jinty. Brassmasters give you a complete fret of new coupling rods, all manner of things. They give you different coal rails, different balance weights, different steps. It's one of those where how far you wish to take it is really up to you. You also get replacement steps which are riveted. Um, I'm going to have a think about whether I need to do that. Providing that, that I, I can see instant changes, then I'm very, very often, often happy with that. And one certainly instant change is to replace the brake pull rods with these much nearer to scale. I just squeeze that one in. So out come the trusty Zurons. We can nip that off there. Now go as close to the face of the brake block as you can. There isn't much space, but there's enough. And that will come off. I'm, I'm altering Brassmaster's ideas on this. I, I found what I think is a simpler way. It's bound to be simple if I've thought of it. Is to drill a replacement hole. Now you must support, even at the risk of drilling into your finger, which I hope I won't do, sort of get it centred. Mm. 
No, don't do it without support because it will just snap. That's gone a bit high up, but never mind, we can adjust that. Don't bother about that. When I say there's some adjustment, if you look at my the one I've done the other side, which I pressed in, I only glued it a few moments before we started. Um, they are at several angles, but that'll be invisible when the thing is painted. The bodger strikes, you see. So how do we put the replacement things? These are the lace pins available from Eileen's Emporium. And I'm just going to solder these in. Now, if you just let them dangle by gravity, you'll have no chance. So clamp one end in the vise, plenty of flux. and solder it. Pop another one in. Brassmasters suggest you have 0.45 wire going right the way across the chassis. Well, I don't know about that. I think this is easier. It's that business of, of drilling into those hangers is really a bit dodgy. That wasn't quite dead straight. You've got a bit of adjustment on this. And our third one. Don't worry about the end one. You don't need a, a, a rod in that. Um, you can put the uh, the pull rod from the cylinder underneath the cab. I don't know whether, no, I'm even going to bother with that because it's almost invisible. I'm being lazy. I'm just lop them off to length. About that much. Maybe a bit more. Although the Zurons do cut off very, very close. Just dress the end. Find it easier pop into the hole. It's a bit of a fiddle this and it's a bit weak but the visual improvement really is worth it. And let's just see how this fits. It probably will be a bit of a pull. They are pull rods after all. There we go. Actually, they're not far out, are they? Astonishingly. Now get fairly runny super glue this time. And just apply a little bit to the back of each hanger. If it's slightly bendy at this stage, don't worry. When the glue is set, you can sort of just bend it back a bit. They are very, very flimsy. The real things would have had the odd knock from time to time. So you can get away with that. Rather a lot gone on there, a bit too much. As long as it doesn't go anywhere near the wheel, it should be okay. Yeah, that's good. as I say, it's just run up the brake hanger. Now, how far we go now with this Jinty um, is really up to to you. I mean, if you want to put all the bells and whistles on, even the uh, front framing. Now, most of the Jinty's had riveted front framing, but not every single one. I'm probably not going to take this this far, but brass masters allow you all these bits and pieces. I'll certainly fit these bits and pieces behind the steps and then weather this one, put a crew in and she'll be a little beauty. But that's the tricky bit to start with, putting the brake rigging on. And away you go, you know, and you'll see from the stills when this is completed um, how much more of a, a, a better model it makes. And well done, Brassmasters. Well done, Backman. Well done, Hornby, for producing really good RTR models at source. Makes it worth doing, something I wouldn't have even entertained even five years ago, six years ago.